Edmonton flying kites with Collingwood and Limburn Community Leagues. There were a group of people that were uh, very interested in flying kites and they decided to form a little group and the first kites over Collingwood was run through the Community League and it was sort of a, th and it still is a kind of a thank you to the community for everything that they participate in through the year. We have an extremely good volunteer organization and uh, this is kind of a way of saying thanks. So it's held, this is the 17th year. I set up a dental office just across the road here and I saw this huge beautiful field and I just thought, you know, perfect place for a kite festival. So I approached the city parks and recreation people and they put me through to the Collingwood community and you know, we, went, we went from there basically. So this kite I sewed myself in my, uh, takes up my whole kitchen floor. Took three weeks to applique the thing and then another two and a half days down in Washington to assemble the thing. In the large tent down at the end is where our kite guy, which is Bud Taylor, he comes in from Airdrie and he basically shows the scouts and ventures how to build these kites and then they in turn pass that on to all the kids that are in there building their own kite and then they can come out and fly their kite but anyone is welcome to come and fly their kite. It doesn't have to be uh, special in any way, just something that will go up in the air. Why are you here today? Um, we just heard it was here, so we wanted to come try and fly kites. And how are you finding it? Pretty fun. What do you like about flying kites? Yeah. Um, just making it go up. The whole idea of the festival was to give the people in the community something that they didn't have to pay for. You know, we're giving it back to them. And that theme's always prevailed. We have free kite kits for the kids and, and all the entertainment, everything is, there's no charge. The only thing you pay for is the food. And you know, it's, and it's fun to see people smiling. You never see anybody frowning when they're flying a kite. I think it's very important. Um, I think over the years, it used to be a lot more um, church involved in regards to running a lot of different, uh, you know, little programs. And the community leagues have kind of filled that need, I think, and a lot of them, they're very busy, and I think they do an amazing thing for the communities. But like everything else, they require a lot of help, and therefore people, I think, should be ready to volunteer for whatever is required. But they're great. I'm Nancy Rempel. Join me next time for another great community league story.